Uh, before he, in 1955, uh, got the inspiration to design the Zephyr class with the first boat being built in 1956. I won't tell you any more than that because no doubt Dears will have far more to say about it than I know. Uh, since then though, uh, Dears has designed close to 75 boats including a number of keel boats and dinghies. I've had a, a very privileged uh, position of knowing Dears uh, for most of my life. Uh, my personal situation was that my father bought a Mistral in 1963, sailed it incredibly badly, but it began my association in, in Townsend Boats. It was Mistral 21 Misty, and if anybody knows where it is, I'd be very interested. Um, and, uh, and after that, uh, I... I... Sorry? After that, I, I, was, I was very fortunate enough to have the experience of one of his most delightful Pied Piper classes. It was in one of the more wayward stages of my life, uh, <laughs> which, which many people here probably remember. But I, uh, I had a great time along with a number of my colleagues uh, from between 1975 and 1979, and the class still remains very, very strong today, and the boats are far too cheap, I might add. Um, same as Zephyrs. Uh, same as Zephyrs. Uh, the, the, probably the highlight for me of a Townsend boat was in 1979 when I met my wife Celia on board Prasna, which was one of his Townsend 36s. And uh, we, we, we spent some time flirting, probably about oh, 15 years or something, and then we got together and about 10 years after that we got married. But, uh, <laughs> So uh, I am a slow mover, you probably saw that out on the course today. <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 latterly though, I've, uh, before my Zephyr I've, I've had a couple of electrons which have provided me with a lot of enjoyment and uh, I did spend some time trying to teach Dean Barker how to match race in them until he started beating me consistently so we gave that game up. <laughs> and, and Celia won't race me now because I think the, the reverse happens with her and she gets the half with me or else I get very testy if she beats me. So they're, they're gathering a bit of dust, but they are fantastic little boats. And obviously the, the Zephyr, uh, I was very fortunate enough to, to buy the, the Zeta from Don Curry and remove the green and rename it Zephyrus. And uh, I've got a pretty nice boat, which occasionally I manage to sail reasonably well. But uh, I, I've been very privileged to be involved with the class for the last 18 months. And uh, I can't believe how much fun I'm having with nobody else to, to have to answer back to, or answer back to me, and nobody else to organise. and. Uh, and also it gives me a good reason to go to the gym, which I think uh, is fantastic. So it's just given me a huge amount of pleasure. And Des, I thank you very much. Gym, uh, gym, gym. Oh, sorry, I wasn't meant to say that. I didn't talk about the trainer. Hello, Sorry, uh, at this point I'd like to hand the microphone over to Des, and uh, he'd like to say just a few words. Thank you, Tim. And uh, first of all, I'd like to comment on the organisation. I've been a little bit aware of it over the time, and I know how much work is involved, and I have to say that the results have been quite impeccable. And one of the highlights was the difficult conditions yesterday of launching through the surf, and I thought that was so well handled to get 84 boats afloat so quickly. So to the organisers, my congratulations. To the competitors, I'd have to say that it's so nice of you to dig the boats out of the mud and drag them out of the long grass and bring them such a long, long way and so make it uh, the success for the organisers uh, real. Uh, you've, you've made the organisation so worthwhile. The only thing is that the numbers, I think, they might have felt at one stage a little overwhelmed. And certainly, I was surprised if you came up with 84 boats. I didn't think there were that many still alive. <laughs> <laughs> now those of you, you that know me will be well aware that all my life I've avoided making speeches. It doesn't come easy at all. And gradually I realised as this weekend came up, there was no ducking this one. <laughs> and I decided I would talk about how the Zephyrs came about. So I was all ready for that until I picked up the programme and found that Rob Ebert had written it all out anyway. <laughs> so it was completely upstage there. But there are a couple of areas that I could perhaps elaborate on a little. 
And as you will read, John Peake was instrumental in getting me to put Atarangi in the boat show, the first Auckland boat show at the Kamiki Yacht Club. And everything was in line to do that, except that I went sailing in quite a good nor'easter out of Cali four days before the show and broke the boat. I broke it right along the turn of the bilge. And I managed to get it back to the beach. And I went up to the Pete's place to hand the good news over. And John wasn't there, but Dawn Pete listened to what I had to say and she said, I think if you take it away to the workshop and think about it, I'm sure you can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> That's why Art Rangi has ribs in it. <laughs> Hold it together. And the rest of it you know well enough that it was put in the boat show and uh, today is in a way a result of that. If the piece hadn't instigated it going into the show and Dawn hadn't given me that little push, this probably wouldn't have happened. So to the Pete's I have a huge debt. Um, it'll come, just wait. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, another, another part that Rob did mention was my glue spreader and that was quite an ingenious contraption and a lot of work went into developing it. At the same time the Disney comics, and I was very keen on Disney comics, were featuring the big bad wolf sitting in his lair designing pit traps and all around the wall of the lair were these pit traps on the wall with big crosses through them. They hadn't worked and he was busily working on another one. <laughs> so it became inevitable that this contraption that I was building was called the pick trap. <laughs> and it never actually caught a single pick. <laughs> but it did spread an awful lot of glue and very efficiently. It was a, a great little machine and I'm so sorry for the present builders at the surface that I finally threw it away somewhere. <laughs> um, I was asked if I could remember any particular stories with the surface and there were many trials and tribulations of people finishing them off and come to me with tales of woe and we sort it out. But one particularly sticks in my mind and there was a fellow, I think his name was Bill Todd, and his boat was number three, the Witch Spark. And the Witch Spark was named after Toddy's rather scruffy little wirehead terrier, a pedigree, which went by the grand name of Ingersoll Witch Spark. <laughs> <laughs> Toddy worked hard at finishing off his boat and finally he put all the centre case together. And as you know, the centre case in the Zephyr has two tenons sticking down each end which go through the calcium. And Toddy had got it all finished but didn't try and put it in that night. He thought he'd leave it till after work tomorrow night. So he came home all ready to put it in. But unfortunately, little Ingersoll Witzbach had spent all day chewing off the tenon. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know that I've really got much more to say except thank you very, very much for putting on the, this jubilee. I can't believe that it's happened. One comment I'd make early days with my book work I was never certain of my future at all. And I only ever put the date and the month. Very rarely did I put the year on any book work because I didn't think I would be in business next year. <laughs> and perhaps one of the satisfactions I've got is that somehow I've got there. You know, I've got pretty much to the end of the race and I didn't cause too much harm. I wasn't too much abused by people for bad products. I've been very, very fortunate. And most fortunate that you've all turned up for this regatta. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you.
Andrew Dears, that was a superb uh, uh, enlightenment of the of the background of the boats, and uh, certainly uh, it's just incredible that, that, that 50 years ago, and I think we all think of this every time we go sailing, that you could have designed a boat that still is as as fabulous to sail and uh, and as beautiful looking as it is, and it's still everywhere I know I go with my boat, people come down and look at it, ask if they don't know what it is, they ask. Uh, they look at the varnish, they look at the shape. If they do know what it is, they've had one at some stage. And I just find it extraordinary how much interest and how, how, how much admiration uh, the little boats create. And I think we probably all have similar experiences. I think we should press on. I know there's a few people still loading up. Bob Blake, he's trying to dig up all the dregs there. Uh, I think I left you some, Bob. Now, Alex Aitken is probably pretty well known to most of you, but Alex has done a great job behind the scenes and just in front of the scenes for, for many years, some nine years, I understand, long before most of our time. And uh, it's really his hard work that is responsible for the financial prosperity of the Zephyr Owners Association nationally and uh, also for the continuing strength of the class, albeit the renaissance of the class. Alex has been involved in the trading activities uh, which have been very, very successful and has obviously been deeply involved in the redesign project along with others such as Russell Turner and Don Curry and I probably missed out a few other names as well. But uh, certainly uh, the strength of the association very much dependent on Alex's involvement and I'd like you all to give him a big hand before he speaks. Uh, Tim? Would you like me to stand at my full height? <laughs> this is my full height. I can see you all. And well, well. <laughs> now, uh, 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 first of all, I'll get Ellison, uh, my wife here, um, has agreed to help me on one or two projects. And uh, this, this here is the president's badge of office. Alright, so that when this, when, 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 when this is in place uh, over there or in a room or whatever, it means that the president is in residence <laughs> and, and, and the president's uh, word uh, shall be taken for whatever it is. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, I would like to um, Thank you, Tim, for the for the introduction. Uh, this is truly a, uh, a great celebration. Um, and on behalf of the ZRA, that's uh, Zephyr Owners Association, um, I would like to extend a very warm welcome uh, to uh, Noel Bay, our patron, uh, Barry Morley, uh, and David Cook. Uh, David Cook, in actual fact, is sailing um, boat number 501, which is the first of the new boats that uh, Robert Brook has had a, 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 a very deep uh, involvement in and has done a great work on that one. Um, okay, and um, number three, number three. Uh, okay, this uh, 50th celebration for the class of yachts uh, that according uh, to what I've been told would only survive for around 10 years. Uh, it's remarkable. Thank you, dears. <laughs> Thank you, dears, for designing and building the Zephyr that has created so much pleasure. Thank you. I'd also like to uh, pass a, 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 a vote of thanks on behalf of you uh, in, in thanking the uh, Milford Cruising and Takapuna Yacht Club uh, providing their excellent facilities uh, and the race management team. Would you put your hands together? Uh, a couple of years ago uh, when the Zephyr Owners Association was uh, putting this uh, organisation in, in place, the 50th anniversary uh, celebration. Uh, people were looking at me with some misgivings uh, when I commented that we would have a fleet of 70 plus Zephyrs on the starting line. I did, I did that, have that as a vision. Um, and uh, Tim Stedden 
uh, gave me a call in early January to say that 74 entries had been received. Uh, this was great news and could I on behalf of the ZOA executive and all members say thank you to Bob Allen and his team for organising this event. I think it's fair to say that uh, the Zephyr class is the largest active fleet um, of classic centreboard yachts in New Zealand. Uh, part of the reason is that we stick to the principles and rules of a one-class yacht. And that's, that's, that's been our, our success story. The best publicity, however, is, is where we have people observe a fleet of 15 to 20 yachts uh, sailing on the rivers, lakes and sheltered waters uh, at club level. It's the club level that's, uh, that's really important for our, our classes and to get the young people uh, in, involved in it also. And the old people. And the old people, yes, 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 we all have this. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, what, I'd, what I'd like to do is, is make an, an, an official announcement this evening, official announcement that the, um, the 2007 contest uh, will be held in Akaroa. And the provisional dates, these are provisional only, they've got to be actually confirmed. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 25th to the 28th of January. Uh, now these are provisional dates, but uh, if you'd like to put your thinking caps on and uh, get, get, get your bookings in uh, for motel accommodations and, and all that sort of thing, you know, we, we'd love to have you. Wouldn't, wouldn't we, Canterbury? Yeah. I can recommend it. It was a fantastic venue. So can the rest of us have went. Right. Okay. So we're all, we, we all had a wonderful time in Akaraya. So um, I can I can uh, promise you that uh, the organising committee will 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 have it up and, and, and running again. Okay. Um, we've we've got a, uh, I, I see we've got a couple of forty foot containers out there. Uh, they're loaded with zephyrs. Uh, or have been loaded with zephyrs. Uh, from the black and red, or was it red and black, mainland visiting Auckland soil. <laughs> it's created quite a buzz. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. As your national president resides in Christchurch, and I have been in great pains to point out to the local Canterbury Association that Auckland has a future and is capable, <laughs> and is capable of generating enthusiasm and growth in a classic centreboard uh, sailing. All right. So, uh, uh, congratulations to Auckland for for all their their okay. All right. Now, uh, aren't we having fun? Aren't we having fun? One of the patrol. One of the patrol. Hey, hey, hey! Shut up. Shut up and sit down, Andrew. <laughs> Yeah, and, and Andrew is always the highlight of our uh, uh, He's only uh, when he's going to get up and, and say something. Um, anyway, uh, just a co couple of things that have happened. Uh, yesterday, one of the patrol boats, that was one of the naiads, I think, uh, was driven by a driver who was having his afternoon nap because he was fast asleep at the wheel. I was on a I was on a port tack and and I had to and, and the, the young fellow, I don't know who it was, but um, he he was doing something else, looking looking elsewhere. Anyway, this this patrol goat just kept coming for me and I had to yell and and he, he actually ran me. Alright? He actually ran me. So so um, I'll have words to say for this uh, at, at, at our uh, uh, Monday uh, afternoon prize giving because uh, some, some, somebody's got to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and, 
and, and, and, and another another thing that's uh, another thing that's uh, that's happened, and uh, perhaps I can get my wife to to hold the microphone while I just demonstrate something here. Right. I'll hold it up there, dear. Now, um, in the, uh, this this morning, uh, some of the Canterbury people said to me, "What are you wearing your?" Um, Pajamas for I had I had, I had, had sort of briefs on, and they said, what, what, what's, the, "What's the what's the idea?" Anyway, I, I thought I would um, I would just point out tonight of, of, of what these are. Right in my pocket here, <laughs> I have a pair of a pair of shorts, and you'll see. You'll see that I, I have been wearing them for the last couple of days, and I think I've been wearing them. And, and they've actually... And, and they've, they've actually got a little uh, part in here. They're, 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 actually, they're, actually designed, they're actually designed for wearing in bed. They're actually designed for wearing in bed. And... and, um, and but, but uh, the problem is, when you, if you wear these things, if, 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 if you wear these things uh, by themselves, everything else falls out. <laughs> Is, is enough for me for the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you all. Uh, it's been a, a real uh, privilege. Uh, when I when I saw there was 84 entries, you know, it just blew me away. So it was just uh, it's uh, been a lot of a lot of hard work. Although the Auckland people have taken up, but I've I've been. Um, <coughs> Uh, on the phone and on the email and on the fax machine, fairly constantly, just to keeping keeping in tracks of of what it exactly is happening, and it's it's all been a great great event. Thank you. Years ago, a man who has helped shape yachting in New Zealand designed a single-handed sailboat called a Zephyr. Using untreated timber and a flour and water paste for glue, the boat had a life expectancy of about 10 years. Yet this weekend, the Zephyr is celebrating its golden jubilee in style. Lined up along Auckland's Milford Beach, 84 Zephyrs, from the oldest prototype to the newest model. Enthusiasts, including 28, up from Christchurch, ranged in age from 14 to 79. It was enough to move a man to prose. Oh, would he be a fool who could pass by a sight so touching in its majesty? Star attraction, the Zephyr's creator, rather dazed by the scene. The only way I could get it into perspective was to go back to the beginning and try and imagine that it would have come to this. That at 72 I'm still here and so are the boats 50 years on. The recipe for the Zephyr's success and longevity is simple. Lots of lovely varnish work, traditional styling, 20, uh, 50 years old. It's still a, a fast, competitive one-man boat that gives you a good physical workout. Sharing the sentiments, the oldest sailor in the fleet, a 79-year-old Dutchman sailing number 43, Jesse. It doesn't matter. They look from the side, from the back, from the front. They all look nice. And there's a good bunch of guys. Youngest competitor, 14-year-old Elliot Hurst, sailing Aroha, making it something of a family affair by racing against his mum. So just a lovely, comfortable sail. They look nice, which is important for a lady sailing boat, and they just feel really nice to sail. Well, it makes people happy. That's one thing. If they're all here and they're unhappy, I'd be in real trouble. I'm not rich, but I'm still here, and they're all happy. Can it be better than that? 
Marta Tasker, One News. This is the race start on the first race of Sunday the 5th of February, Jubilee Regatta. This one was abandoned. This boat around. Yeah. Hmm. Just tell me it. Just going down tonight. Well, that's close at the moment, aren't they? That's the complete piece of the heart of the hole. Not very really used to that.
So did you have a good regatta? I had a wonderful regatta. Keeping the champs very honest, <laughs> the middle of the fleet. <laughs> they didn't even have a swim. Oh, that was, that was a big day. effort. Hey, even on the heavy days, good on you. Even on the heavy day, no swimming. And on the light days, a magnificent time. Sure. Hey, oh, Gus. <laughs> Um, not just lately actually. Hey Harry. Phil. Come for a look see. I've come for a look see, yeah. mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, mate, you gave me a hand. Did your practice your cast away workout? Yeah, yeah I, I went out there, but I didn't do that well. Oh, right. But that one. That's all right. And how was your rig out of core? Oh, so, yeah. so? I was in the first 20 to start off this round there, and if I round the mark, I had so many boats coming to work, I had to get away from them. And then I found a hole, and I had about side by side, he put me in, you know, about 12 boats that way, and, and I found a gap, and I tacked away from it, and the guy said behind me, he said, hey, you can't do this, and I can, I go for free air. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Good on you. Was your regatta? Uh, overall, um, really good, really my first one. Um, I've done a couple of open regional regattas, the first major regatta. Yeah. And um, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. A bit fickle today. Uh, blended really well to come out of that fickle stuff and win. So good on you. He, he deserved it. He, <laughs> to, win the, to win the regatta on a, a win in the last race, he did, uh, did very well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, I'm just yeah, pleased we got away with second. <laughs> could, have, could have been quite a lot worse. Yeah. Thanks for your comment. Okay. Alan, how's your regatta been? Very good. Yeah, quite pleased until today. I got seventh overall last night, so I'll probably drop a couple today, but that's alright. Very good for the old boat, you know? Yes, indeed. Happy. Yeah. As we see. Well Number one. Yeah. Still a champion. Still a champion boat, eh? Hey? He just needs a champion skipper and a go twice as <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, you do really well. Yeah, I wish you. I did as well. That's uh, good. A good series put on by Milford. Good series organised by Bob Allen. That was absolutely great. Great. Yeah, superb. Okay, thank you. How was your regatta? Very good, had a marvellous time. It is? Yes, yeah? she's been great. Bit of a long walk down to the beach though, but apart from that, um, it's the, the hardest part is pulling the boat to the beach. Once you get in it, it's quite fun. It's great. <laughs> it's about the regatta, Ron. Yeah, that bloke in Nimbus was a bit of a worry out there, <laughs> that light blue boat. <laughs> yes. No, it was great. Well run, well organised, thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, great. Yeah. Yep. Oh. All sorts of conditions good for everybody. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I don't think any of them were any good for me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm on that. I'm in that camp too. <laughs> How was your regatta? Oh, average. Average? Yeah, no, it was good fun though. Yeah, it was really run. excellent. Mm. You've sailed on the East Coast Bays before? Yeah, yeah. hundred years ago. Hundred years ago, <laughs> right? In Cherubs. Oh, in Cherubs. Yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, good. No, it's been an excellent uh, event, hasn't it? Oh, I think so. Back to Tarong tonight? Yep. Good yeah, on as you. soon as we get packed up and have a feed. Good on you. <laughs> Thanks. Excuse me, can you give me a comment about your regatta, please? Oh, it was all good fun. Good fun? Um, yeah, except for today. Drop back to the place today, but never mind. Yeah, so where do you reckon you came in overall? Oh, third overall. Third overall? No, it's good to see so many boats out, though. 84 boats, it's a big fleet. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, that size fleet. Um, except for the peas and starlings, pretty much. Yeah. These days, so yeah, all good fun.
Big pack up, heading home. Yeah, yeah, not too far to go home, that's alright. Good on you, thanks. <laughs> and how was the uh, regatta from your point of view? Well, it was great to be part of it, uh, even though I was on shore duty, it was a uh, good bunch of people in the Zephyrs, and we have a great social time and great to uh, watch the sailing off Milford Beach here. Excellent. Thanks very much. Can I ask you about your regatta? My regatta? Yep. Very enjoyable. Learn lots. Uh, I understand that Zephyrs from Christchurch come in tins. <laughs> uh, I understand that uh, fast is not necessarily loose. And uh, if I had some venturis, I'd stay dry. <laughs> okay. So you, gotta, you know what you got to do for next time? I do indeed. Good. So, Thanks good morning, Kev. And thoroughly enjoyable. Very well organised. Thanks for your comments. Thanks. From your point of view, please? Oh, it was very enjoyable. Yeah? Yeah. 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 How do you reckon you did overall? Oh, disappointed, but never mind. Didn't, yeah? Yeah, no. Starts wind flash. I seem to be catching, having to catch boats all the time. Right. So, a bit more work. A bit more work? A bit more work. <laughs> yeah, no. Couldn't work out, but the tides and... A bit of local knowledge might have helped, you think? No, it's up in the head. Right. Okay. That would have fixed it. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you. Wow. I'd love to. Yeah. It's a great experience. Yeah. Every race was a learning curve. <laughs> the highs were um, heading around each course, really, except the, yesterday, the one that was called off yesterday. Right. But there was pretty, some pretty exciting reaching before I canned, and then that was it. <laughs> and that was it. Then you came ashore, did you? Then I came ashore. Oh, good on you. No, it was a great regatta. Well run, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Excellent. Fantastic. Hope you enjoy the prize giving too. I hope so. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. And what are you actually doing there? How was your regatta? <laughs> oh, it was good. I did all right. This is my first regatta or first real sailing in the Zephyr. I didn't have much experience. When well, you've got a bit more to put on your CV about Zephyr sailing now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. It was a lot of. A lot of good sailing. Well, I hope we see you here again. Okay. Thank you. Would you like to make a comment? No, I think you come back. Yeah? No, oh, just, just yeah. off the cuff? Yeah, or off the cuff. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a fantastic regatta. And uh, overwhelmed with the numbers. And the individuality of the boats just makes it awesome. Oh, I've done that, actually. Any comment about the regatta at all? How you went? Ex well, I went uh, tank 12. And I'm very pleased about that. And uh, it's been an excellent regatta. Yeah, no, they put on a really good show here. Great. So we're really, uh, really happy about that. So, uh, thank you very much. That's all right. Can I ask you about uh, how you went in the regatta? Not very well. <laughs> Yeah, but you enjoyed yourself. Yes, thanks. Yeah, yeah. good experience. Uh, yeah, it sure was. Yeah, all right. So sweet. Yeah. You've been in you've been in regattas before, Zephyrs? <laughs> for years. Uh, one or two, three years ago. One or three years ago. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> how was your regatta? That's great, thanks. It was. Yeah. Yeah. And how did you do? Um, well, I did not compete in one race and pulled out of another. Yeah. And had a third and a fourth, which were my best race, uh, races. Big learning curve, yeah. It's good to know about Auckland waters. Yeah. And you were in boat number? Boat number four. Boat number four. It was in 1950. So it's 50 years old today. So today Happy birthday boat. Happy birthday boat. <laughs> I just met the owner, Don Roberts. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what do, you, what, do you, what do you want to know? I'd just like to know how, how you regatta re went from your well, point of view. I, I, I thought it was a great event and uh, you know, with 84 boats on the, uh, on the water, it was a real spectacle. And uh, anyway, the, uh, the wind's given, given up today so we've, we've uh, only had one race and uh, so that was, that was good, a lot of fun. Yeah, and you're pleased with your performance? And what? You pleased with your performance? Uh, well, av average, you know. For uh, for I, I'm sort of in the uh, in the lower order, but I like to I like to think that I can improve. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Alec. Okay. You you enjoy being in the regatta, though. I enjoyed it. it was yeah. Fun. fun at Melbourne. Yep. Okay. Thank you.
Catch you later. Yeah. Oh, just right wanting your perspective on how the regatta's gone from what you've seen of it. Oh, it's been uh, a, 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 a great spectacle, and I think everybody has enjoyed themselves. And uh, yeah. it's a great honour for Des Townsend yeah. to have this happen. Uh, and it looks like it's going to keep going for another goodness knows how many years because they're now building new boats again. Which is great. A lot of enthusiasm, isn't there? A lot of enthusiasm. They're sort of boat that um, just doesn't age. And uh, they look after extremely well. And um, the two original boats are still here, so they're 50 years old and still going. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, great. Thanks very much for your comment. Thank you. How was the regatta from your point of view? Oh, really great. Because of the uh, variety of weather. Yeah. But I enjoyed the harder day the best. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it gave me more to do. More to do, otherwise it's a little... Towing. Towing, yeah. It was good, no. I was very, uh, very impressed by the way the boat sailed. So really go wrong. Thank you. And this is Noel May's boat, Summer Wine. It was great, it was a lot of fun. But, um, it was, uh, we should, should have more of them. Can't wait till the 75th, but uh, I don't know what sort of shape I'll be in. <laughs> yeah, that no, was good. Thanks very much. Yeah. And how did you, your boat go? Um, it stayed together and I didn't capsize, so that's a win all round. All right. <laughs> were you out yesterday? Uh, yes, I was. You yeah. were? Yep, yep. And, and you went okay in that weather? Um, well, I stayed upright. I got a wee hole in it because uh, of my own stupidity, but um, um, yeah, no, it's good. Well, that was a good test, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks for your comments. Thanks. The, uh, How it went from your point of view from the from the beach? From the beach. Yeah. Oh, I, had, I had great assistance from the, particularly the Nixons, but quite a few other people helping all colleagues oh, yeah. in and out. And once we got them organised, we uh, things went pretty well already. Right. With a lot of help of the competitors as well once they came ashore. Right. Okay. Yep. So you're the you're the you're the beach boss. Yeah, that's the idea. Thank you. Uh, well, I had a really good time. I'm very pleased I came. It's a shame there wasn't a bit more wind on day three and five. Right. Three and four. <laughs> it was great. No, I really enjoyed it. Thanks very much to Auckland for organising. And what's your boat called? Victoria. Victoria two two. And how do you think you went? I think I went as good as I expected. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Every part of it. <laughs> But uh, I haven't spent much time looking at the result board. <laughs> well, me neither. But you enjoyed the regatta. Oh, indeed, I did. I, I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Mm -hmm. Just the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a real buzz. Oh, well, well, maybe we'll, we'll see you with some action upstairs, eh? Be in the prizes. <laughs> How did your regatta go? Pretty woeful, really. Yeah. Not the first day either. Oh, it was good. I yeah. mean, it's been a great opportunity to meet people, but sailing-wise, it was pretty sad. Yeah. Just, uh, try again next time, eh? Sorry. Thank That's you. What you can do. <laughs> Comment on how your regatta was. Um, a little frustrating, but I really enjoyed it. It was, um, it was good to get out there with all the boats and and. Um, not particularly confident in a big fleet like that with 80 folks on the start line, but uh, all the same, it was a good experience. Excellent, thank you. Mixed, very mixed. Yeah? Had a good first day, not so good second day, terrible yesterday and a good day today. Right, so in so the top half? I'm in the top half, which is all I wanted to be. I think that would be a good thing to achieve. <laughs> yeah. And you have any further comments you'd like to make? How was your get it? I started well, but I didn't finish very strongly. And uh, the fact that I found the conditions yesterday a little bit too arduous. A bit arduous. Uh, I did lose a lot of facing. But I'm still in the top half. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Well done. Yeah. Okay, thanks for your comments. You must have something to say. Oh, yes. What an enjoyable tournament. It was unbelievably good. Yeah? Just uh, the best. Absolutely right. fantastic. In your backyard? In my own backyard, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just fantastic. Yeah? And how did your boat go? Oh, it went really well. I mean, it lasted. The first nationals I went to in Akira, I was about 40. 
sixth out of about 48 boats, but this time I'm uh, 50 out of 84, so I'm pretty pleased with the improvement. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah, it's good when you can see some progress. Oh, indeed, yeah. Yeah, mm. getting to know your boat, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. From a point of view of learning what I should and shouldn't be doing with setup is the biggest thing of all, but yeah. uh, enjoyable. Just had a great time. <laughs> Sailing at home. Uh, yes, <laughs> so maybe next year, Akaroa. Akaroa, yeah, that yeah. should be good. So, no, had a, had a darn good time. Learned, cool. learned a lot. Good bunch of guys to sail against. Cool. So, uh, we'll be back again. Thank you. A bit of every season. Fantastic sailing. Good regatta. You had a good time? Yeah, had a great time. You boat, uh, perform up to expectations? The boat? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I love my Zephyr. Good. Really Thank, go. Thank you. How was your regatta? Ah, it was good. It was good. I'm a bit disappointed with the first day with the not sailing later in the afternoon, but apart from that it was good. Last day was very successful. Right. So where do you reckon you came overall? Ten. That's really good. Ninth or ten. Good on you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And how was the regatta from your point of view as a um, patrol boat skipper? Oh. Awesome, really. We had a good time. Um, we weren't very busy most of the time, other than a windy day yesterday. And we were flat out on that day, so <laughs> it was a lot of fun watching those boats smoke down the reaches. <laughs> really good, they were smoking too, really going fast. But um, no, good regatta, all good sailors, good fun. Yeah. You yeah. probably wish you were sailing, were you? Well, I should think about it actually. Yeah. They're a beautiful boat, I'd love yeah. to buy one. Oh, well. Or have you got a year to think about it? Yeah, right. Okay. Good. Thanks, Alan. How's it gone from your point of view? A lot of hard work. Coordinator of all the patrol boats. A lot of hard work. Coordinating things isn't as easy as it sounds. Um, if everybody turned up at the time appointed, it would be no trouble. And if they appointed it, came at a tour, it would be helpful. But uh, overall, in the end, it uh, worked out OK and we got through the series without any problems. Yeah, I guess. Flexibility, eh? Yes, flexibility, but uh, when you volunteer for something, it's uh, nice to have everybody stay while they're required, but uh, yeah. otherwise, can't really complain too much. Right. Certainly not about the weather. Okay, thanks, John. Can I ask you how your regatta went? Oh, yeah, I had a pretty good time. Yeah, been a very successful contest. I'll put it back in your... The boat went okay. So, no, I'll be back in 25 years for, for the 75th. Right. And how did you go overall, do you think? I came uh, 16th equal. Which is uh, pretty good for me. Yeah, that's good. Oh, good on you. And you enjoy being in Milford? Yeah, well, the Milford trek's a bit of an issue. Yes. It's 500 metres down from the beach. Yes. But uh, no, we've had, uh, we've had a good time. Yeah, it's all we could hope. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Would you like to comment on how the regatta went from your point of view? Tell them how it went from your point of view. Uh, I could have done better, yes. <laughs> but it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, thanks to the organisers. Hey? Yeah, no, excellent regatta. First time up. <laughs> your first time? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know where I came and I don't really want to know. <laughs> right. Just <laughs> being here. Great fun. Just being here, eh? Yeah, yeah. Good right. bunch of guys. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your comments. Cheers. See ya. Bye. Well, my old Calvary um, took one Friday night of the Bay of Island. It was all, all night. We made three adjustments in the showroom. Bob, how did your regatta go? Um, oh, quite good. I only sailed two races, but I managed to finish um, 73rd out of 84 or something. So. On two races, so that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you couldn't have made the whole regatta, but uh, you probably would have been right up there. Um, I wouldn't like to make that comment. But <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems that might be the case. <laughs> yeah. Did she? Yeah. I was quite surprised. I beat Cor Vanderpoel overall. And he's just even like that. And I'm going to wind him up about that later. Right. Well, 
Yeah. When I publish this, everyone will know. Do you remember building this one, do you? No, I didn't. Oh, well, I built the hull, of course. No, Roy Dean did the deck, which is it's far and away the most dramatic piece of workmanship on a deck of any of the Zeppelins. Right. I had a better tumble over. I was pretty at the top of the mast in the soundtrack. Ah, yes. Oh, you old guys with your old boats. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> and have you enjoyed the regatta? Oh, huge, huge. It's been great, isn't it? I suppose you're recording all that I'm saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is just the I, unofficial I record. You're standing uh, you can make one, one <laughs> with Bill, this. Bill Gip, there's Townsend and Wynum. Bob Blakey's uh, 171 was leaking and he wants a warranty claim. Yeah, well, I came oh, out. Has he got the full warm out there? Yeah. Well, I, I had to dash off. I said, it'll have to wait. I've got bigger problems. And I've come back, my problem's solved. But now I want to know what his beef is. <laughs> Very annoyed. Warranty claim. Yeah. yeah. They're filling out the forms now. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll refer him to my insurance company. <laughs> Probably long out of business. Isn't that what the boss boat builder does? Blame the resin? Yes. Come on, Jerry, you'd know that. <laughs> this is one of the reasonings. <laughs> this is the unofficial record. You're doing the unofficial record. Yeah. Did it work out right for you with the photography you had to do? I think so. Yeah. Okay, good. Probably enjoyed it. The four days it's been busy, but. That's what you expected would happen. Was that? <laughs> kind of, it was always going to be busy, wasn't it? Yes, it was always going to be busy. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that head to my dad in that last race, I could have got some more shots out there, but never mind. Mm -hmm. This is a finished product. Busy, yeah. Yeah, things old sailors never die, they just go and sail as ever. Well, that, 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 that's probably the case too. You're dead, you're dead right there. There are plenty that have, that have been around for many, many years that, are, uh, that have, that have uh, sailed other boats, that have uh, looked after their kids, uh, maybe had a break from yachting and come back into the Zephyr class. Uh, and I, I'm a case in point. So it's certainly very much appealing to people that want to do something for themselves, uh, don't have to worry about crew, relatively inexpensive, don't want to get quite into the, the stage of a laser. And there's huge camaraderie as well. It's, yes. The level of the racing is um, quite superb. You, you never get protests, but you do always get penalty, penalty terms. It's, it's fabulous. That's the point I thought, apart from good-looking boats highlighted. I mean, this is camaraderie of the old-fashioned kind. It's somehow why we should participate in sport. Yes, exactly, it is. I, I, I can't, Just I've never enjoyed myself more in, in, in quite a long sailing career uh, because of the fact that it is non-aggressive. Uh, people help each other in terms of getting started. They're fiercely competitive on the water, but it doesn't get to the point of aggression. Uh, you know, it, it's absolutely delightful to mix with these guys and to go out sailing against them. Wonderful. So it has been voted an outstanding success, this 50th Jubilee regatta. Without a doubt, it, it's been a, a fantastic and you've even had the designer uh, sailing one himself. That was fabulous. It was an absolute highlight for me, seeing Des sailing uh, the prototype Atarangi uh, number zero, which will spend uh, probably the rest of its life in the Auckland Maritime Museum and has been beautifully restored by Brian Pete. I couldn't believe that it was allowed out of the museum that he could sail it. Well, it's I, actually I couldn't still... believe uh, that a lot of those other boats were allowed out of where they came from. They looked like grand pianos. <laughs> they do, don't they? No, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a treat to watch them. I know that wherever I take my boat, there's somebody will come along and, and, and sort of stroke the deck and and, and it's certainly, they're, they're pretty special. Oh, you can't touch it, Dad. You might scratch it there. Oh, dear. <laughs> Wonderful. Tim Sneddon, it's been an absolute delight. Congratulations to you and your team on putting together such a, a wonderful and significant event. Thanks very much, PJ. Thanks, thanks for your uh, help and, and uh, publicity publicizing it. That's Tim Sneddon, who is uh, the uh, president of the Zephyr Owners Association. It has been a association. It has been a... The... Um in sixth place overall was Colin Madden. <laughs> fifth place overall and winner of the new 50 to 59 age group trophy, Murray Sargison.
Mr. Robert Brooke um, donated. And also the first master, number 65, Jimmy Gilpin. <laughs> Um, can I just say, there's an eye, 1950, there's one, the counter cut, yep. and the 1951, I followed him, so we've got this bond. <laughs> okay, in third place overall, yeah. in 236, Mark O'Brien. Second place overall, also the winner of the new 40 to 49 age group trophy, the new boy on the block, 212 Steve Pyatt. I'd just uh, like to um, thank Bob and uh, Tim for everything they've organised and obviously the race committee, um, some good races out there, beautiful place you've got here to start, fantastic, um, look forward to coming back sometime. Um, I'd like to thank all the Canterbury guys for your support and uh, good wishes over the last couple of days and for your help getting the boats up here. And uh, my training partner, Jeff and Stevens, thanks for coming out with me all the time. And um, lastly, obviously, it's been all of my appearance, Colleen, that's the lady that's jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> and Colleen, and, um, and my wife, Megan, who's been a support. Thanks very much.